Hey, what's up everybody? Avery Looper here at M2C Racing, bringing you another awesome creation. You're going to love this one, guys. I figured out how to fix this cover, the fan cover that's always breaking. All right. First thing you're going to do is take your current fan off, and you can use your crack cover for this. You don't have to get a new cover. Um, you're going to remove these six screws to take the cover off. You're going to use the included 2.5 millimeter drill bit and you're going to drill out these four holes all right and you're going to put these four button head screws that are included in okay once you put those in you're going to take these flat nuts that are also included and you're going to put them in the top of the cover when we put the cover in we're going to put it on upside down for extra clearance here okay do this in a clean area Okay, don't do this in a dirty area. Have yourself set yourself a piece of paper or something. We got a bunch of little piece, little bitty pieces to deal with. Okay, so you get it assembled. You got your you got your pieces laid out, and this has been sitting on my bench for a week, waiting to do this video. So please give me a break if I miss something and have to do it twice. So the first thing we're going to do after we got our stuff disassembled and we got all our stuff in a very neat looking row, we're going to put. our switch mount onto our cover okay then we're gonna put our fan on pretty sure it goes this way it goes one of these ways okay then we're gonna put our fan cover on upside down no I don't know how to do all the waffle speed to get this stuff to speed up so you'll have to bear with me get these screws driven in now these flat nuts in here we're just using those as spacers to keep this cover off the fan blades because that's where the problem comes in is when you when you bang into something or you land upside down and that fan comes up and hits your cover now before you put the included nuts on what you're going to want to do is put these two inserts in these could be black or white depending on what type of material we have available at the time of manufacturing we're going to try to get black No, that's not in this step yet. Like I said, guys, it's been a couple of weeks. Work with me here. There's been a lot of development on this. But we got it. The test team's bashing it. And it's holding. And that's more than we got before. So, in this step, we do secure our fan. We got these little lock nuts included. We really had to put some thought in to figure out how to get this. And we're sitting here looking at it. And my dad came up with this idea. And it works. It works well. So, you may or may not have the correct wrench for this. You just screw it down. Finger tight. You don't have to kill this thing. You know, you don't have to... I'm just using this in my in my fingers. I'm not even using a driver. Just screw it down kind of tight. Don't over tighten it. This stuff is tiny. I'm going to skip those two screws for now. No, I'm not. Let's go ahead and knock them out. Maybe we can figure out how to use the waffle speed on this video. And make me sound like a chipmunk like, like I do on that... Uh, on that interview on the front page of our website but nevertheless so so now that we've got that secured bing 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 you can see we got a gap under there if you can look at that gap now when our fan blades move around under impacts they're not going to hit these little lips right here so the next step and 
this is this is <laughs> it's not easy okay we're gonna take these two long screws and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our we're gonna put our long screws through like this I'm gonna drop it through and we're gonna run those through the top of the cover so you'll want them sticking out like this okay now here's where it gets a little tricky <laughs> the whole thing's a little tricky but it works <laughs> and if you've broken any of these then you know just the fact that it works is worth the pain in the butt that it's going to be to do it that's why I said keep a clean work area right there now, as you can see this cover Aldo sent me this and it's been bashed to heck and it's been treated pretty rough if there was a ASPCA for ESC's Aldo would be, get reported on it because he's hard on them so now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this thing kind of on its side because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little teeny washers on and these little spacers are going to go on each screw okay I'm trying to do it for the camera so I'm trying to do it so you can see it but you can see what I'm doing here I'm just putting these little, little spacers on I'm going to push that back and like I said guys this is a delicate operation if you're going to get frustrated easily this, this might not be for you honestly because this thing is whew, let me tell you now You're going to put the ESC together like that, so that all your stuff doesn't fall apart. Now, you're always going to want to, I like to start in the middle, and work my way out, just because it's a good habit. Now I'm just snugging this stuff up. It's barely snug, just so all our screws get started right and nothing's locked down, so we can move around a little bit. And for goodness sake, don't over tighten these little itty bitty screws. The last thing you want to do is damage something. Well, it's already a little damaged or you wouldn't be using this. So now I'm going to go and secure it. Now at this point, or at some point before, you're going to want to use the included 2mm drill to drill out your switch holes so that you can mount your switch here on the little switch mount setup. Okay, now i got all six of those screws installed. Now I'm going to take the two button head screws and I'm going to lock the front of this thing in with the button head screws to the standoffs. Now, this sucker is solid as a rock. And I can't guarantee you it ain't gonna break, but you're gonna have a hard time breaking it. 